गुड मॉर्निंग स्टूडेंट टुडे वी स्टार्ट द चैप्टर ऑफ क्लास सिक्स दैट इज द फर्स्ट चैप्टर एंड नेम इज द कंप्यूटर लैंग्वेज वी हैव डिजाइन हेयर आई हैव डिजाइन अ पी पी टी रिगार्डिंग द कंप्यूटर लैंग्वेज दैट इज ईजली अंडरस्टैंड बाई यू इन द फॉर्म ऑफ कंप्यूटर लैंग्वेज एंड द प्रजेंटेशन सो वी स्टार्ट द प्रजेंटेशन हेयर कंप्यूटर form of document document section the documents and the chapter introduction computer language yes this is designed by me and this i think this is support fully support the understanding of the first chapter i make the maximized form of this ppt okay so we start the first chapter that is the computer language at first we start the language what is language language is the way of instruction way of instruction with uh, each other we know different kinds of languages as a human we have express ourselves in the three ways you have find out through skip through speak through write and through mind in speaking language we have used the different kinds of language like the hindi english and other regional and international languages to write by using we can use the different scripting language we use the hindi like a Dev, devanagari scripting language english roman scripting language tamil tamilians use the tamil telugu they are the different script scripting language on the international level there is also the you have know about the chinese language Russian, Germany use uh, German languages, etc. There is the third form of our language in the human that is the through mime. What is the mime? It is the facial expressions of the our language. Through the facial expression, we can convey the message, and other person understand that uh, expressions. This is also form of the interaction between the each other. and the form of language now come to the next what is the computer language computer has only one language that is binary language the combinations of zeros and one no any other language has understand by the computer so we understand the english hindi and other languages computer understand only machine level language that is the zeros and ones how feel the gap this gap will be filled by the programming language this gap will be filled by the programming language so what is the programming level the question arises here programming language is, is the set of instruction coded by the programmer that tells to computer what should have performed exactly what should have performed right now it is the code in the form of instruction set of codes and computer works according the programs perform execution step by step and computer perform the process in the form of step this the, which order the programming has designed by the programmer so the computer language is depends on the programming language there are the different programming language and through the generations of the computer the first generation there is the machine level language the second generation there is the assembly level language in the third generation you have find out the high level language and fourth generation there is the four chain programming language let come we start with the first generation machine level language the first generation language has typically written about the in the form of zeros and ones form that is written in the form of zeros multiple zeros combination and multiple ones combination are used typically to write the computer program so it is very difficult to write the code in the binary language and very skilled highly skilled deepest knowledge about the computer and entire uh, uh, structure of the computer can only write the programming in the form of zeros and ones on those day so 
Uh, the advantage of first generation programming language is perform the fast execution of the program, but there are lots of disadvantages. What kind of disadvantages here? Here we we have find out the machine dependent code that are written in the one machine level language is not executed on the other machine language. That means you have write on the one computer system language, the code is not get support and execute on the other computer system. There is the error prone, much error prone in the this generation programming language because the we have typically write the coding in the form of zeros and ones and zeros and ones combinations are not easy to create in the form of step by step instruction so they are much error prone and it is also the time consuming why it is time uh, time consuming because there is lots of error is generated and rectification of error is very tough task find out the error and resolve the error and then run the program it is very time consuming process but this phase the advantages of this generation is what the first execution of the program to come out the second generation language that is the assembly level language it is the second generation language and why it is called assembly level language because the a similar kind of software is developed during this generation of the language what is assembly assembly is the translator that contains the simple mnemonic term simple mnemonic term what is the mnemonic term that is uh, the that obviously come the question in the form of question what is the mnemonic term mnemonic terms are the small english alphabet words like sum average max mean you have already familiar about student about the these kinds of term and that are used in the assembler and assembler able to convert the equivalent zeros and ones term so the programming less difficult in the second generation level that means what mnemonic terms are the combinations of different kinds of small kind of english uh, words like a sum average max mean and it can be converted by the zeros and ones form uh, by the assembler you can use the sum average max mean in the the programming uh, in the second generation programming language what the advantage part of this program, generation programming language is easy to write the code as comparing to the first generation because the first generation is very difficult it is right in the form of zeros and ones form but here the some mnemonic terms are allowed to use inside the programming language so it is easy to write the code in the comparing to the first generation so less time take the write the source code comparing to the first generation but the bigger source code also write in the form of zero than one form in this generation carry on this generation also so this advantage is what the machine dependent the program do not support by the other computer system except where it is written which computer system you have write the source code it only perform the execution on that particular system not supported by the other computer system error prone it also uh, common causes and the disadvantages here because the last chunk of program of source code is also written in the form of zero and one only the small english terms are supported by the assembler but not supported the big source code so here also much much error is generated here one thing is also uh, here that is the platform dependent what do you mean the platform platform is simply known as os which operating system supported coded you have designed that is not supported by the other operating system this process is known as platform dependent so uh, yeah, the second generation programming language is the platform dependent programming language for the example in the second generation of the programming is algol cobol photon etc now come to the student on the third our third generation language that is the high level language that is high level language is the third generation very revolutionary change inside the computer language because you can fully use completely use the english familiar word in the programming you can completely use the english familiar word in the program you have know about the english term and you can use inside the programming you have built the programming source code by using the english so it makes the revolutionary changes in the third generation that is the high level language how it is possible because they are the two translator best software are designed that is the compiler and interpreter compiler and interpreter are the do two translator based software compiler allow the programmer to convert 
द होल सोर्स कोड दैट इज द कंप्लीटली इंग्लिश सोर्स कोड एट ए टाइम इन द फॉर्म ऑफ जीरो Here you have find out the I have uh, I have designed a diagram. You have used the source code in the English. The whole source code is compiled by the compiler and convert in the object code that is the zero and ones form where the interpreter it performs the line by line conversion of the source code which is written in the English. You have find out also inside the diagram source code in the English line by line convert by the interpreter and conversion. Finally, obtain in the form of object code. So the third generation make the easier of our programming uh, skills. We use the complete English term inside the programming. So advantage part of third generation is much better comparing uh, compared to the first and second generation. You have find out the advantage here: easy to learn and write the source code. Logic building of the programming concept is developed because the, we have not focused on the zeros and ones combination of the writing. Uh, process of the source code we have focused on to how to we have performed the logically uh, types of program like using if else who loops uh, these kinds of tools are used inside the programming language third error debug is easy how it is possible because the compiler and interpreter find out and show the line number lines of error which number lines the error is generated so you have find out the easily and debug it easily so less time consuming to write uh, any program execute and debug the program during the third generation but the disadvantage is also carry on here slow ex execution of the program is performed comparing uh, comparing to the first generation Com first direction directly execute in the zeros and ones because the writing uh, re uh, the source codes are written in the zeros and ones form and it perform the execution also in the zeros and ones form second one is the os dependent programming here that uh, programming is done the specific the operating system based suppose you have write on to the coding on to the windows operating system it is not supported by the different operating system like a linux or a unix so it is the os dependent Uh, programming language you find out the example of the third generation c c++ java bb etc okay now come to the fourth generation language the fourth generation language is uh, in the shortest form called 4g it is the abbreviation for uh, 4g the fourth generation language fourth generation language is also known as 4g and it is the very smart language category because here the programmer has take the less effort from own side and the software provide the maximum resources that can help to design a de design a program or writing a source code inside the program if you have find out any kinds of error there is the helping mode editor is also available that support you how to debug the program so it is very very much much user friendly for generation language this is the very smart language category mainly in this language category you have find out the database related language like sql uh, oracle uh, db2 perl python ruby etc comes under the fourth generation language and the advantage part of fourth generation language is easy to learn and use machine independent programming but that means you can write the source code in one computer system that can be run on to the different computer system also and the platform independent program you can write for the windows it can be carry on executed on the linux and unix or a solaris operating system also this advantage of the this generations is what Uh, this generation language is slower execution than the third generation language and much memory consumption comparing to the other generation language slow in the sense of it take the huge amount of memory consumption that with the process of the uh, execution of the program comparing to the first second and third it is much slower and memory consumption is very uh, very high in this uh, programming language So thank you for the strength have a good day